take you from under the shelf and put you on top of the shelf. When men see it, as you know that I, God, has made you again. Somebody praise him. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody give him thanks. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The reality and jubilance of Israel soon turned into grave concern. Lord, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Yes, they were free. Yes, they could go home. But aside from the very clothes that were on their backs, they were returning to their land a pathetic remnant with little to rebuild their lives. They were going home with nothing. They were going home empty. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The return to God more times than not mean being purged of all your earthly vices and attachments and returning to God with a broken, a broken spirit and a contrite heart. David said, the Lord will not despise, but he will mount you up with wings as eagles. The return to God is not easy. Anybody tells you it's easy, they're liars. Israel went home with nothing but the very clothes on their back and a few grains in their hand. Shout mm. my Hallelujah. You ran away from God for years. When you come home, you're coming home like the prodigal son. Or the prodigal son came home with nothing. He came home and when he walked in, he said, Father, I'll be a servant. I'll be a servant for you. But I, I got nothing. Returning to God is hard. The way to God is through the cross. Oh. Lord Jesus. The way to holiness is through the cross. You're going to have to suffer. But there's a promise in suffering. If you suffer with me, you shall also reign with me. Lord, help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the people refused to allow their circumstance to hinder their return. To the land that God gave to their fathers. They saw the trials. They saw the hardship. But they refused to allow it. To hinder their return. Sometimes we see the hardship of walking with God. And here's what we say. I'm not ready yet. I, I, I gotta be real right. I'm not ready yet because I'm, I, I can't. I know if I come, I have to live right, right? And I'm, I'm just not ready yet. They see the hardship that will come. They see that God will purge you of your vices and your attachments. And it's hard to let go of sin. Sin is sweet, by the way. Anybody tell you sin is not sweet? They're liars. They haven't sinned. Sin is sweet because you get to revolt against God. You get to do what you want. For the new convert classes, we'll talk about that. Huh? About dispensation of conscience. People wanted to do things according to their own conscience. That's what it is. In the world, we want to do things according to our own conscience. But that's how we work with God. You have to be conformed to the will of God. But Israel said, I will not allow my circumstance to dictate whether or not I go home. The book said that they cried. They turned to God and they faced God, faced up. Let's get God listening.
is return again our captivity oh lord as the stream in the south in other words god give us the tools to make it prayer is important Chateau. prayer is important yes sir Israel said we know what's coming but we're going to prepare ourselves by turning to God and say God yes return us but make us like the streams in the south now let me tell you what the streams in the south the south streams are heard in the south it's called uh, Negev in the Hebrew it was the desert in the south and ordinarily it's a, a barren and arid area it's dry but after heavy rainfalls the dry waterbed became perennial streams and these perennial streams made the wilderness blossom you see you can't just take the word of God and just use it out of context they're saying this is what we know happens in the south in Najaf and they looked to God and said, God, like the stream or like the desert that blossoms when the rain comes, return us and make us blossom in your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Amen. Maybe that one was too deep to you. What Israel was saying to us, Lord, we are praying that we, your people, the little remnant, amen to God, the little seeds, amen to God. We're praying that we, the people that you love, that are returning with only our clothes and a little seed, when we plant our seed, make the soil fertile and in the due season, give us in abundance. Let me come down and meet you. Let me come down and meet you. Amen. What you're saying to God is, when I come to you, God, I know that I'm going to lose everything. I know that all that I've gained in this world will be purged. But Lord, let my prayers go down in the soil of you, God. Let it germinate, for God wants us to germinate. Let it germinate and let it bring forth in abundance. So when I'm walking with you and talking to you, people will know that I'm blessed. For David said, from I was young and now that I'm old, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. But the righteous is him that prays. The righteous is him that knows God. Israel was saying, God, temporarily, the seed that we put down, let it blossom. But we, the church, are saying, God, the prayers that I put down, let it blossom and bring forth fruit. I know the road will be tough. I know it's going to be hard to make it. But let my prayers go down. Let my prayers germinate. Let my prayers bring forth a tree. Let the tree bring forth fruit in its season. Help me to walk with you. Help me to talk with you. Help me to be a light unto a dark world. Help me to lift up my hand. Oh, he gates. And be he lifted up the everlasting doors. And the king of glory. Come on in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty. Mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. Knowing who we believe. One man said, I am persuaded that he is. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. God can do all things. Yes. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. But I want you to get this verse. The Bible said. Verse 6. He that goeth forth and weepeth. Bearing precious seeds. Shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. Bring in his sheaves. With him. What the Lord is saying is that Israel returned to harvest and had to plant seed or wheat or seed of wheat and corn of the marginal amount that they returned to the land with. No doubt, the Lord was saying that many a night these people were hungry. For the little wheat that they had, they had to make a decision. Do I plant it? Or do I feed my children? 